All right, continuing my look at the motorcycles from the various common rider shows. Well, the Heisei era ones that I collect. We have Machine Hardboilder belonging to Common Rider Double. It's a black box with green text and it's got a black motorcycle with green stuff. And coincidentally, the box matches really well that of the figure arts. Um, and this gives me a good excuse to unpack Cyclone Joker so that I can display him. Back in a minute. Alright, so here we are with Figure Arts Hard Boilder. Now, Common Rider Double was the first uh, rider show that I saw, and I love it. I love the two in one aspect of it. I love the, the Gaia Memory gimmicks. I have a lot of these, I love them. Um, <clears throat> So this is one that's been high on my list for a while, but I just got it a couple weeks ago, and it is glorious. Let's set you back a little bit. It is beautifully detailed. It has a slightly softer plastic that feels almost like it's hard rubber on the tires. The tire turns with the handlebars. It feels like there's metal in the fork. Um, there's a little bit of a springy action on the back wheel. It's got a kickstand. I just realized this is up a little high. Let's see if we can lower it a little bit. Hooray for cheap uh, tripods. Um, anyway, it's it's very lovely. Um, apparently, those headlights should be reflective silver behind there, and there's instructions online to disassemble the bike and paint that, and maybe I'll do that someday, but for now, it's fine. I don't care. It's some nice crotch rocket, I don't know what kind it is, and I don't care. I know almost nothing about motorcycles, except that some look really cool. And this has some split apart gimmick that I don't think I want to mess with right now. But in the show, he had the option to switch out this green part for... Oh, uh, there was some jet ski, water jet ski sort of attachment that I don't think they ever made in figure arts. There is a a jet, a jet thing attachment, which I have on the way. And I will re review that with this when it gets here. For now, it's just a motorcycle. Um, it comes with a stand for the rear wheel, if you don't want to have the kickstand down. So you can put double on it. Let's see how badly I can mangle motorcycle pose on the fly. Let's swap out his uh, what you call it? Scarf. So you do I even know how people ride these things? I'll be right back. I think that's a decent approximation of what somebody would look like riding this thing there. It looks it looks alright. Um, there are a few problems with it, uh, and I think they're actually mostly shortcomings with the figure art rather than the bike itself. Um, you can't really quite sit down on it, but I think that's because his uh, trouble driver is hitting the gas tank. If we, and I don't remember if this one's loose. Oh, it does. So if we pop that off, maybe we can sit him back down on it a little more. The double has the double body has goofy shoulders. They're actually kind of a pain. I don't like them, but so that kind of he can easily look really weird. Um, if you want to have him looking upright, his shoulders look wonky. So you got to keep those back. I guess you can try and curve the. Yeah, because of those shoulders, actually, I think that's the biggest problem with this. Uh, but you know, like that. I'll be cool with it at that angle. Um, it does help to have the double driver off, um, just so it's not colliding with the gas tank there. Ooh, let's try this one. I have never ever used 
this big long scarf that came with the the double two pack. I don't even not even sure how it goes on. Hold that thought. I guess I should have paused the camera for this too. And I keep thinking, well, I should, but I'm almost done now, right? And sadly, that does not work. Because it's billing the wrong direction. It's going up. Um, where's a stand when I need one? Maybe this will work. Just to get it up, just off the ground a little bit. Now he's doing a wheelie. Nah, it looks a little better. So, figure arts hard boilder. Um, if you love double as much as I do, get it. It is a little bit of a pricier bike. Well, okay, they're all pretty pricey. They run, tends to run around fifty bucks on Mandarake. Uh, again, the biggest problem with it is the double figure art body is a little wonky, but uh, it's cool. And when the turbulator unit shows up, I will throw that on here and review it and see how well that works. Come on, come on, there we go. Um, what, oh, what bike should I review next? I have everything that's been released except for Agito's, but I just might be buying that tonight. And Skulls, which I'm also buying tonight, but that's just a repaint of this one. And Blades isn't out, and Denos isn't out, but I have Blades on pre-order, and I should be getting Denos on pre-order as well. Uh, which one should I review next? If anybody cares, tell me. For now, double. Double.